Hi friend. So after learning about XPath, now we will see how to write an XPath and what all things we should know and uh, what are the things which we have to consider before writing the XPath. So there are a lot of functions in XPath and uh, like the syntax, what are the syntax we should follow. So the very first thing is like single forward slash, double forward slash, how the XPath starts. And then there are a lot of XPath functions like uh, what is the like formula of writing an XPath, then relative XPath using access and re relative XPath without using access. So how can we write all these kind of uh, like <laughs> what are the these things and how we will write so that we will see here. Now the, uh, the first question comes in mind what is the difference between single forward slash and double forward slash like we can start writing XPath using single forward slash or double forward slash. So the difference between single forward slash and double forward slash you can understand it like this way that single forward slash is like coming down step by step one by one. So this makes your XPath performance like very slow. So basically it is something like in uh, if in real time if you see. So your DOM starts from here how I got that like I just did right click and ins clicked on inspect so this open and now if we have to let's say if we have to reach, uh, reach to this div so if we use single forward slash then we will have to come one by one like html then single forward slash head like for single forward slash html then head then body like that way we will have to come like body div a so accordingly that we will have to follow the syntax so basically like one by one one step at a time we will have to come so that is where <coughs> it takes a lot of time and it reduces uh, like performance there's a lot of performance issue second is double forward slash double forward slash is like okay as soon as you write double forward slash and after that if you write anything that will directly jump to that particular element so if here we, if we would have written double forward slash div then directly it will jump to that first div in the dom if double forward slash header then directly it will jump to header it will not go like body then div then header not like that if we would have used single forward slash then it will come like body then header then div i will show you with the real time example like how we write that so first i hope like you understood that single forward slash is coming step by step one by one double forward slash i directly coming to that particular node particular element then uh, xpath syntax and functions the, uh, so here i have noted down just like very standard for, uh, syntax single forward slash tag name then double forward slash tag name at the rate attribute name is equal to attribute value there are different functions which makes to write xpath more robust and unique like and or functions we can use like in programming we all have that i mean in every programming language we have and function or functions so similarly like in xpath as well we have and and or functions there is another good functions like text normalize space dot so all the uses of all these functions we will see index we can use the index position last and there are like many functions there to write the xpath and these all functions are really useful when we have to write the robust and unique xpath okay so we have seen the uh, here all the functions and difference between single forward slash and double forward slash that's what we have learned in the next lecture before uh, like writing xpath we need to understand that what is the right platform to write and verify xpath so that we will see in the next lecture thank you